I, I always liked working with my hands, working uh, through high school. I was in shops a lot. I spent more time in shops than I did classrooms type of thing. Um, I just really enjoyed building things. I uh, built some furniture, did some things like that, and then uh, got into uh, building my own homes, uh, actually framing. I had, I had a boss I worked for that um, knew how to build everything. He was a great teacher. He could explain to me how to pour a footer, and I could go pour a footer. He could explain to me how to frame something, and I could frame it. Um, and he'd come by in the afternoons and say, hey, you did this wrong, or you, you know, next time do it this way. And uh, I built several homes that way for myself and sold them and, and uh, built a few more for different people and then I started uh, full time. He's a, he's a very, very fine builder and he's an honest person, has an excellent uh, reputation in town. And uh, I asked him what is the JMJ stood for and I should have known, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And that's, I think that's his philosophy. The good Lord just blessed me. When, when I didn't know something, I asked for help. Uh, and, and he, you know, my, the name of JMJ is Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. My kids named it. That's what it stands for. And when I'd get in a predicament where I didn't know what, what to do, uh, how to do something, literally I, I, would, I would ask for help. And, and the next, in five minutes, I'd know the answer and, and uh, we, I would take off. And I mean, the man is a man of his word and he, he has excellent contractors. They have been with him for years and... Uh, it was, a, it was a pleasure. I mean, it was never a problem. If something came up, we discussed it and agreed and off we went, so. We've done a lot of tray ceilings that uh, other people, you know, be um, kind of apprehensive to, to try. Um, but we do our own framing um, and our own trim work. So round walls, um, tray ceilings, anything like that, uh, round exteriors, um, Nothing phases us. We, we, you know, piece of cake. It's always a piece of cake. We can do it. Everything with Rick's a piece of cake, and that's the way this house has turned out. We've uh, there hasn't been a day that my wife hasn't walked through this house in some room or another and said, "I love this house." And I said, "Yeah," and you're just trying to make me feel good about what it cost me. No, she said, "I love this house," and she does. When people come to my office and I ask them what are they looking for in a builder. It always comes out honesty. Um, honesty, craftsmanship, uh, try to treat people fair, treat people the way they want to be treated, um, and do anything they want. I, I, don't, I don't try to talk them into um, something that I want. If they want something custom, I don't try to talk them into something that's uh, easier for me to do, easier for my guys to do. Um, whatever you want, we, can, we will do it. Uh, Margaret basically designed the house and of course that was just with rough drawings and you know she put it on graph paper and had it figured out but he worked with her the two of them sat down went over what she wanted well I don't think that'll work quite well how about this and you know and he found how to put things in the house that we wanted and most of the time clients come to me with uh, pictures out of magazines that they like and the more pictures the better it gives me a, it helps paint that picture in my head what we're building what they're looking for in a home but they they put they give me pictures of like bathrooms they like kitchens they like uh, different areas outside kitchens grill areas uh, which is very important today and and my job is to put it together uh, we've won five design awards from the state in the last five years ever since we started uh, putting them in the statewide contest with the home Builder association and uh, Putting it together is the fun part. That's what I do more than driving the nails now. Anything was never a problem. I either can do it or I can't do it. That's his attitude. And if he can do it, he's going to do it. So uh, We would be willing to try. I mean, if I can't do it, I, I would say, no, that's impossible to do. You know, I can't, I, you know, we can't do it or I don't know how. But, but nine out of ten times, yes, we will do anything and make it look good. It's where the, the ceilings are 10 foot and um, you step up a foot, you come in, you step up a foot, uh, you um, come in another 12 inches and step up another foot and it's oval. It looks like a oval racetrack. Um, we, I did that uh, in a house seven years ago, eight years ago, and we put wood crown up in it. And uh, we, I had to end up cutting small pieces of wood crown to go around it because you cannot bend wood crown like that. Um, 
and it took it took a while you know I cut for 12 straight hours to get it up there and then we had to sand for uh, for several days to get it looking right you know and the end result sure. looked fantastic the lady said it looked like uh, the Titanic it was she was walking into the Titanic that was her comment on it you know when she bought the house Thank you.